He then apologized again after the game. He was suspended almost immediately despite his apology. But Bob Kendrick, the president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum, forgives him. He joined me on the show earlier this week. For me, it was a no-brainer to forgive a man who had issued an apology. And, and that's simply what, what I did. And you know when you do these kinds of things, you know, I'm not doing them for approval. I'm not doing them for applause. I uh, certainly didn't expect the condemnation that came along with it. But, you know, you know all of that comes along with the territory. Yeah. Many people have now condemned Kendrick for forgiving Kuiper. Morgan, I had taken the position that I thought forgiving him was the right thing, that it was clearly accidental. There's a level of ignorance. You have to wonder, of course, why the word was in the vocabulary um, and available uh, to him. But as I said to Bob Kendrick when I interviewed him, I said, I will bet you he knew it was a word that is no longer used anymore, and he picked the wrong one. Forgivable? You know, before we came in and, and I had seen that video, I was leaning towards forgivable, but actually the gusto with which he pronounced that word and then also seeing his age and the fact that he has a job in the media. I think we can agree that if your profession involves communicating, then you need to be pretty on top of the right way to be articulated. Yeah, I agree, but the question is, does the punishment fit the crime, Joe? Uh, look, I think it certainly was a fireable offense. So the fact that he's only uh, suspended indefinitely, I think, says that he is being given a little bit of grace here. I think also just the fact that there were two people there, that in the aftermath of what is one of the most jarring words uh, in the English vocabulary that stirs up uh, some of the darkest, vilest uh, periods of American history, no one seemed to even in the moment Well, the realize. other guy, was. it was very odd was like to watch this. the other guy. Yeah. No. Like who's hearing the word, you expect him to go like this. Yeah, you know, I, like, you know, I, yeah, I, yeah. I expected yeah. something but. out of, you know, when Kanye West stands up there after Katrina and says George Bush doesn't care about black people. And all of a sudden, everyone is, you know, Chris Tucker's <laughs> looking around. Yeah. I mean, people said something has gone terribly wrong on live television. Yeah. There was none of that. And so I think for me, that's what gives me pause. How is it that even in the aftermath of that, that there was kind of no kind of self realization but does it yeah. ma something. does it matter though that it's clear it was a mistake right he's trying to promote the museum well, you keep saying right? it was clear it was a mistake yeah. I, I, I was uncomfortable it. with the way the word just flowed off well that, but but that but that's still a mistake let's agree he wasn't trying to use the word Right? I don't know that we know enough. Well, why come on. Then why, why would he? Do, see, so why he decides. He hours to okay. He, no, he, he decides to go on TV and promote a museum that celebrates African American baseball okay. players, and he wants to intentionally use the N word in I, that context. You know, I, think, I think everyone is clear, mostly, on the fact that he didn't expect. It's, it, didn't want to use that word. Right. In right. That That's all I'm saying. Right. Yes. But I, yeah. so and so, I think there is a difference between saying you can earn forgiveness, that we should have grace, and also saying that you should immediately have your job back after three days. <laughs> right, that's, yeah. that's, that's very And different just thing. because one black person has said he's okay with it does not mean no, that we No, Kendrick doesn't to get to make this decision. Yes, There's exactly. no doubt about that. But, you know, I have to say, the reason I take his position on this so seriously is because he also had just spent the day with the guy, uh -huh. right? So he had just been at the museum with this guy. We talk about knowing what's in his heart, knowing what he intended. That's the guy who was with him that day. That it's, should, that, you know, I'm looking at this like a lawyer, right? I'm looking at the facts and I'm saying, okay, that's important evidence. It's but a valid point. Yeah. It is. But as an employer, do I want that risk that this guy at any moment could potentially say something that's going to offend most of our audience? Uh, I don't like know. I, said, I, I think that I don't hold any animus towards him. Yeah. I think that if you talk to most people, they don't necessarily feel one way or another. But I think to return him to the perch, I think in some ways maybe sends a bad message. All right. A bit the, too soon. I, I do feel bad in the sense that if he didn't intend to say it and if he doesn't have that hate in his heart, I mean, wow. Like, he'll never live it down. That, that well, lives that, forever. But that's, that's the question, right, is does the punishment fit the crime, right? And it's the road to redemption, right? He could travel the country talking about, you know, what happened to me. And and those, is anyone you know, going to listen to him? Sure. Sure. We're yeah, not saying people, he has to go to jail. He just maybe shouldn't be People are going to come this, and, like, show up. <laughs> and they're gonna I, I would oh, agree. Yeah. Remember the Oakland A's guy who said, yeah, he's no, coming no. to town. No, I want to no. go check him out. I actually believe there is a lot of evidence for people who have made mistakes in their life. You can talk about people like Maurice Claret. You can talk about people like Michael Vick, different types yeah. of problems, right? Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below 
to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.